Hey there, fellow Lorcana enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel, where today I dive once more into the captivating world of card strategies. And I have an exciting one for you. Building a deck strategy around the card Moana of Montanui. Am I saying that right? Now, before we begin, let me remind you that the game has not been released yet, and so I'll be working with the limited number of cards that we currently know about. Jumping right in, take a look at Moana's ability, We Can Fix It. It allows us to re-ready other princess cards, giving them protection from being challenged, or allowing them to exert an ability if they have one. Let's start by adding as many princesses as we can find in the current set of known cards. We begin with the Amber Ink, which includes our leading lady Moana, along with Ariel and Minnie Mouse. Now, looking through all the other inks, I found that the Sapphire Ink offers the most princesses. It has Aurora Dreaming Guardian, Aurora Briar Rose, Belle Inventive Engineer, Jasmine Disguised, and Aurora Regal Princess. With these princesses at our side, it's time to step back and decide on a strategy. I noticed that most of these princesses have two or more lore value, which is higher compared to many similar costing cards. To me, this suggests a promising ramp deck that can benefit from Moana's powerful ability we can fix it, along with Aurora's ward. This combination will protect your characters from being banished as they're relentlessly questing for lore turn after turn. Next, we need to find some item and action cards to support our ramp strategy. Here are three great choices. Lantern, which allows us to pay less for characters we play. Also, you get the added benefit that if you played Bell early, this card will be cheaper. One jump ahead, a true ramp card. It's a song card that helps us build our inkwell faster. And Mickey Mouse Detective, which serves the same purpose as one jump ahead, except it's a versatile character that supports our strategy while also being valuable for questing and seeing. Now this deck doesn't currently have much draw power, so I decided to include Stitch Rockstar for the draw ability, Adoring Fans. This allows us to draw a card on the turn that we play characters that cost two ink or less. To supplement this, adding Stitch New Dog seems like a perfect fit. We still need to add at least two more cards for our deck, so I decided to look at other characters that could help us out. I've chosen LeFou for his high lore value and low ink cost, which synergizes well with Stitch's drawing ability. Lastly, I've added Hey Hey an early game card that can also be comboed with Stitch. Now, I'd considered adding Timon instead, but we don't know his willpower yet, so I opted to leave him out at this time. With these 15 cards selected, we'll create a 60 card deck, including four copies of each card. To recap our strategy, we'll focus on ramping our inkwell and questing high lore value cards trying to maximize their ink cost efficiency. This deck doesn't have specific card search capabilities, so we'll play the cards as we draw them. In the early game, our aim is to advance quickly in total lore value over our opponent. Generally, we'll choose to quest over challenging. However, challenging opponent cards that have a higher lore value compared to what you have can be advantageous. Just avoid trading equal lore value cards as it could set you back. In the mid to late game, don't fret if your opponent wipes out all your characters when you're sitting around 14 or more lore. Stick to the plan of questing over challenging, especially if you have a big total lore lead. Once Moana is in play, make sure to quest with all your other princesses first, collecting lore, and then rewriting them by questing Moana. This synergistic combo will maximize your character protection on the battlefield. And once Stitch Rockstar is on the board, Always choose to draw cards whenever possible. Drawing cards this way will keep your options open and can also make it very hard for your opponent to keep up. In my opinion, this deck is fairly powerful, especially given the limited number of cards that we currently have. I think it's an excellent choice for new players as it allows you to focus on your own game plan without worrying too much about what the opponent's moves are. As we learn about new cards, specifically better items and princesses, I would consider swapping out LeFou and Hey Hey first. Additionally, Minnie Mouse and Aurora Briar Rose could be replaced with princesses possessing higher lore value or more useful abilities. Maybe I'll explore these options in a future video. Well, that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you found this deck strategy insightful and interesting. Now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this deck and share your ideas and suggestions. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the content and consider subscribing to this channel for more Lorcana card strategies and updates. Until next time, keep playing and may the cards be in your favor. Take care, everyone, and goodbye for now.